Wow. Welcome. Please, by means of appreciation for this message that is being delivered to you today, please subscribe, comment, and share this message if it opens your eyes to the spiritual worlds around us. In this article, I am dealing with a subject that is so personal and so pravity that those who have it don't like to talk about it. I'm talking about the issue of women and many times men who experience sexual relationships in their sleep. There are three people affected by this. Those who have this relationship on a constant ongoing basis. Those that have this relationship on and off. And those who have this relationship but don't know they do, because immediately after, it is wiped off their memory by demonic manipulation. In my own opinion, the third group is the worst group to belong to. Since they cannot remember the dream, they will not be able to do something about it. If you have the problem of sexual encounters in your dream, the first thing I have to say to you is, relax. Just relax, don't be tense. Why? You are not alone. Statistics have shown that 7 out of 10 women experience this problem. I read about a pastor who has a church of over 3,000 members. He decided to do an anonymous statistics on women and men that have this problem. And it turned out to be the same for the men as it was for the women. 7 out of 10 constantly or occasionally have immoral relationships with men or women in their dreams. False Faces These spirits have so mastered the art of deception that they will use the faces of people you are familiar with when they visit you at night. There are women who have told us they see their dad coming to sleep with them in their dreams. We know that is the spirit husband using the face of the father. Your dad has nothing to do with this night encounter. Sometimes they may even bring the face of your pastor who fasts and prays for you. This is another manipulation in itself to make you look down on your pastor and distrust him. Trust me, it was not your pastor coming to sleep with you. He's not as debased as to do that. It is none other than the spirit husband. At other times, they'll bring the face of your husband. It's not in dreams that you're supposed to meet with your husband this way. Any experience like that is very questionable. They can also come with the face of your brother, your boss, and people around you. It's no other one but the spirit husband masquerading himself in these false disguises. Description These nighttime, sometimes daytime experiences are called encounters with spirit husbands and spirit wives. In West Africa they call these dream visitors, night husbands and night wives. The Latin people of those days called it the encounter with incubi and succubi. If you look in the Webster's Dictionary, incubi is described as a spirit being, that comes to have intimate relationships with women, why they are asleep, while succubi is described as a spirit being that comes to have relationships with men in their sleep. In Matthew 13, 25, the Bible says, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The most dangerous part of your day is really not when you're driving on the highway, operating a piece of machinery in a factory, or doing construction work on a high-rise building. The most dangerous part of anybody's day is when you lay down to sleep. That is when the enemy does the most damage to the majority of people. I will be deceiving myself to tell you that. I know everything that needs to be known about this subject, but the little, tiny experience I've had over the years in studying, coupled with counseling and praying for people. I can say without any shadow of doubt that the problem of incubi and succubi is a very common problem that you cannot just dismiss with a wave of the hand. What is so troubling is that many Christians who are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit are also afflicted and affected by this problem. Out of ignorance and sometimes out of pride, these dear saints keep this problem to themselves rather than cry out for help. Erica Joseph in a booklet titled Sex with Demons, Nightmares, Incubus, and Succubus had the following to say, Sexual experiences with demonic spirits are very real even in this day and age. I have personally taken both men and women through deliverance, who have experienced this, and some became bound by the spirits of incubus and succubus. I have personally taken both men and women through deliverance, where the witch or warlock has actually, through the use of astral travel, said who said them, having sexual relations with them as they slept, with them thinking it was only a dream. This has been done through the utilization of familiar spirits. In some instances, I have found that those spirits have entered through masturbation and fantasy lust. If the individuals renounce the fantasy lust, 
and stopped masturbating, they were delivered. I have taken several individuals through deliverance from those demons, and I've found that people have been violated, raped, by spirits, not actually wanting to believe it or not understanding what happened to them until deliverance revealed it, but they know that they had experienced something painful and undesirable. I have taken individuals through deliverance that have felt the bed moving, felt their bodies responding uncontrollably, yet their rational, logical mind could not comprehend it. So they wrote it off as a dream. These demonic spirits that function in this sexually perverse way must be renounced and cast out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Essentially, the incubus is a lewd demon which seeks sexual intercourse with women. It is also termed Fole, French, ALP, German, Duende, Spanish, and Folletto, Italian. The corresponding demon who appears to men is the succubus. When associated with one particular witch or sorcerer, both incubus and succubus are known as magistellus, or familiar. Inasmuch as the nightmare dream is sexual in latent content, incubus is often used interchangeably with the mare demon. In fact, the Latin word for nightmare is incubo, to lie upon. The incubus can assume either a male or a female shape. Sometimes he appears as a full-grown man, sometimes as a satyr or in the form of a demon. And if it is a woman who has been received as a witch, the incubus generally assumes the form of an animal. Succubus is a demon in female form, specialized in seducing men. Although feminine in meaning, in the form of this medieval Latin word, succubus is masculine, because demons were supposedly sexless. The feminine form succuba, strumpet, is occasionally found. If you have or are having dreams or nightmares of a sexual nature that you know are as real as life, dreams where you cannot exactly distinguish the real from the unreal, please seek deliverance. Don't allow Satan and his demonic hosts to degrade your body, which is the temple of God. Real Life Experiences A Pentecostal monthly publication once discussed the subject of deliverance in an eye-opening article. In the article, the writer wrote about a strange deliverance session he conducted. He talked about a lady who he simply called Angel. Angel had been involved for some time in the occult. She and her boyfriend met the pastor in a restaurant looking like they had been physically assaulted. Right there in the restaurant, a deliverance session began. Then the unthinkable happened. A solid black chicken walked into the place. Yes, you are not reading a misprint. A black chicken appeared and this happened in Colorado Springs, Colorado, United States of America. Gone were the days when stories like this were exclusive to Africa and Haiti. There's a lot going on in the spirit realm all over the world. We are in the last days. As the solid black chicken appeared, Angel's face gazed and became fixed on it. The hen hopped into a vacant chair ten feet away from them. Suddenly Angel said to the deliverance minister, I want an egg! When the minister approached the chicken, it jumped off the chair and ran to the door. It left behind the largest egg you have ever seen. The minister picked up the egg and brought it back to the restaurant table where Angel was being prayed for. The terror on Angel's face was clearly evident when the egg was held out to her. She hid her eyes behind her hands. In response to the minister's prodding, Angel told odd tales of her life. She said that she is a bride of Satan. She was a wife to Satan. Then she explained that in the egg were the ten children she had through spiritual sexual intercourse with Satan. When Angel met with the deliverance team again that afternoon, she told of how she had come from a broken home and that she had engaged in perverted premarital sex regularly. When the deliverance session commenced, she was handed the egg, which she had refused to even look at previously. She held it in the palm of her hand as the demons were commanded to leave. She was told to break the egg but recoiled as if to protect the egg. She said, I can't break this egg. But after authoritative commands to break the egg she turned her hand upside down but amazingly the egg stuck to her hand as if it was glued to it. After more prayers were made, she let out a piercing scream and the egg shattered all over the floor. To their amazement, it was filled with blood red fluid instead of yellow yolk. That's how finally this lady was delivered. The problem we are dealing with in this book is real. Unfortunately, many ministers have no idea how many of their members are suffering at the hands of these wicked spirits. I was in Africa a few years ago to attend a conference. After the conference, 
Many workers who attended came to me expressing how night husbands and night wives are troubling them. Unfortunately, they lamented, our church does not believe in dealing with issues like this, yet we are suffering and need deliverance. If your church argues against the existence of this problem and voices a Pisidian to deliverance, find a church where you can be helped. God will not hold it against you. The Evil Effect How does the presence of a spirit husband or wife affect a person? I know of at least three ways that I would like to discuss. Difficulty getting married, difficulty staying married, difficulty having children. Firstly, those who experience sexual encounters in their dreams will have difficulty getting married, and if they make attempts to get married, all their attempts will be met with one frustration or another. I have met with many men and women who in the natural world should have no problems whatsoever in finding a spouse. Unfortunately, because of the presence of these spiritual spouses, they are blocked from being able to get engaged and stay engaged. One night I was ministering in a revival service. The Lord gave me a word of knowledge about a lady who was being troubled every night by spirit husband. A lady raised her hand and she prayed. This sister has suffered a lot from the hand of this evil personality. She was engaged in the church to marry a brother but mysteriously, the engagement broke up. Little did we know that it was the work of the spirit husband. That night, the spirit husband came back but could not do anything to her because the Lord had broken that yoke during the revival. The spirit left and could not come back to defile her again. Not too long after that, she was engaged, and the marriage was held without any problem whatsoever. If you know you ought to have been married by now, but for whatever reason cannot find someone to marry or cannot stay engaged, you probably are being troubled by the problem under discussion. See a capable deliverance minister for the prayer of deliverance. Secondly, those who experience sexual encounters in their dreams are likely to have difficulty in their marital lives. The spirit husband or wife is very jealous, and anyone who is married to the one they claim better get ready for war. Many unhappy and broken homes today are as such because of the evil manipulations of these jealous spirits. A sister in our church was recently delivered from the power of a night husband. She told me to make sure I include her testimony in my book so as to encourage those who may be suffering the same fate as she suffered. Her story shows how the presence of a spirit husband or wife can have a negative effect on a marriage. For as far back as she could remember she had a spirit husband, who will come and visit her every night and defile her. After she got saved, he was still coming every night. She told me that some nights, this man would have left before she would have any consciousness of the fact that he had been around. During these encounters, she had very serious marital problems that defied solutions. Her marriage was at the brink of collapse. One day, she just got up and told her husband she was tired of the marriage. She took a thousand dollars and moved out of the house. She went to the Penn Station in New York City and boarded a bus not even knowing where the bus was headed. She rode on the bus for about three hours till it got to Baltimore, Maryland. Then something told her to get off the bus and she did. This lady came out of the bus not knowing where to go since she had no contacts in Baltimore. As she came out of the bus, a well-dressed man carrying a briefcase approached her calling her by her first name. She was startled by the incident, since he is a total stranger to her. Who in the world are you? She asked. He replied, Don't tell me you don't know me. I am telling you that I don't know you. She replied, I am your husband, the man replied. You are not my husband. My husband is in New York, was her reply. I'm the one who comes to you every night in your dreams. Let us go, for I have spiritually manipulated you from New York to this place so we can spend some time together in real life. He further told her that after they are done in Baltimore, he will let her return to New York, but will henceforth call her out to meet with him at other locations all over the United States. He opened his briefcase and it was full of hardcore currency. He told her not to worry, she would be well taken care of. When the lady got to this point of her story, I had to make sure I was in a counseling session and not in a dream. I then asked her if what she had said thus far happened in real life or she was just narrating a dream experience to me. Lo and behold, it was not a dream. I then asked her what she did. She said, Pastor, my eyes opened and I pushed him aside, ran into the bus station to take the next bus to New York. However, before she left, the man said to her, Where are you running to? 
You can run, but you can't hide. I don't have to get on the bus to be with you in New York. She got on the bus the same night and arrived in New York in the early hours of the morning. When she got off the bus in New York, guess who was waiting for her? The same man she left in Baltimore a few hours earlier. With a grin on his face, he said to her, I told you that you're mine and I'm yours. No circumstances can change our decision, so you might as well stop running. She pushed him out of the way and took a taxi home, where she quickly made up with her real husband. It was this incident that brought her to me for deliverance. The man never surfaced again after her deliverance. Many who have spirit husbands and get married physically end up having problems in their marriages. The fact of the matter is that the spirit husband is very jealous. He takes marriage to another person as a sign of unfaithfulness and will not give up without a fight. Sometimes not only is the marriage attacked, but the husband in the physical is also attacked in one way or the other by the spirit husband. There have been cases of men who have died mysterious and violent deaths as a direct result of attacks from the spirit husband. At other times, the spirit husband will separate the husband from the wife, making it hard for them to live together under the same roof. The final evil effect of the presence of spirit husband and spirit wife is the difficulty in having children. We have had to deal with many cases of barren women who the doctors cannot understand the cause of their barrenness. They have been thoroughly examined and no medical reasons are found for their inability to reproduce. In many of these cases, during deliverance sessions, the spirit husband manifests contesting our right to dislodge him from blocking the lady. The anointing that destroys yokes has set many women free during these sessions, resulting in the birth of healthy babies sometimes after decades of childlessness. At other times, diseases of the reproductive system are introduced into the woman, thereby making it difficult for her to conceive. Well, thanks for reaching this far with us. Kindly subscribe, like and leave a comment on this message, and stay tuned for our next post.